right, today we're going to do topic four, lesson eight in math. We're going to practice solving some word problems. Some of them are one-step word problems where we just do one thing. Some might ask us to do two things. So we're going to use everything that we've been practicing with place value and adding numbers together to solve some things that might happen in real life. All right, let's see what we're going to start with. The second graders take a trip to the nature center. The green class sees 23 animals. The blue class sees 14 animals. The yellow class sees 32 animals. How many animals do they see in all? We're gonna solve using drawings, models, or an equation, probably all, at least two of those things. And we're gonna be prepared to explain our work. I'm gonna read the question one more time and we're gonna break the question down, make sure we understand it, and then I'll let you have a, a minute to do your own work. The second graders take a trip to a nature center. The green class sees 23 animals. The blue class sees 14 animals. The yellow class sees 32 animals. How many animals do they see in all? So I know that we're talking about students taking a field trip. Um, so it's definitely not a 2020 class. The um, green class sees 23 animals. I'm gonna underline that and put a G for green. The blue class sees 14 animals. I'm gonna put a B for blue. The yellow class sees 32 animals. And why for yellow? So I've got some numbers, some information, and it says, how many do they see in all? If we're putting them all together, that's combining, and combining means addition. So let's create our equation. We've got the green class with 23 animals, the blue class with 14 animals, and the yellow class has 32 animals. We're gonna put all of that together. So go ahead and pause the video and you go through and work it the way you think is best. Okay. I'm gonna solve it the way that we've been practicing the most, which is using our base 10 blocks. So I'm gonna model 23, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 14, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 32, 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. And in all just means I'm gonna squish it all together. In the ones place we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So six in the tens place is 60. So we got 69 animals. Today we're gonna to be using a kind of model that we haven't used too much. And that's called a bar model. So I'm going to show you that another way we could represent this problem is by drawing a bar, which is a rectangle, and then I'm gonna break it up into pieces. How many groups do we have here? We have three, three classes. So we've got the green class, saw 23 animals. The blue class saw 14, so theirs might be a little bit smaller. 14 for the blue class. And the yellow class sees 32, and theirs is the biggest, so that's okay, because they have the biggest number. And we're trying to figure out how much the whole thing is. So how big this bar is all together. That's another way of showing what we're thinking. Let's do another one. Okay, Let's, this one is about butterflies. It says, Amy and Devin count 36 butterflies. Suddenly, more butterflies join them. Now there are 53 butterflies. How many new butterflies join them? So they started out with six, seeing 36. Then some more came, and now all of a sudden there's 53. So 36 plus something equals 53. There are, a couple, there are lots of ways that we could solve this. We're gonna solve it by counting up to make this number. And actually, you've solved this a bunch of times on your other practice pages. You've done problems that look like this, 36 plus, and it might give you what's in the tens place, but you have to figure out how to make 53. And you've modeled this and then figured out what you have to add to get there. So, let's see what our friend is thinking. He says the total is 53. The first group has 36, so I'm gonna use a bar diagram or a bar model to model the problem. 
36 plus 10 is 46. Could we go up another 10? No, if we went up another 10, we get to 56. That's too much. So we're only going to have one 10. 46 plus 4 would get you to 50. We got to get to 53. So 50, 50 plus 3 more gets you to 53. This is something I would do on a number line. I would draw my number line, and I'm starting at 36. And this time, I know where I'm going. I'm going to 53. We might end up having a very stretched out jump, but that's okay. So I'm going to do a jump of 10, and that takes me to 46, like we just said. And then I'm going to think to myself, can I do another jump of 10? No, because that would go to 56, which is too far. So now I'm going to do jumps of 1. 46, 47, right? We're going to count by 1s. 48, 49, 50, and I might put 50 here just to not lose my place. 51, 52, 53. I had to stretch it a little bit. So all together, we had to do 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 10 plus 7 is 17. So you could show it this way, or you could do this mentally, or this is a way that we could use the number line to do that. All right, what is a different way you can use mental math to find 36 plus 53? See if you can think of another way. If you are having a hard time with it, I'll give you another equation that you can use and you can tell me how you would solve this using this strategy. 29 plus what would equal 46? Okay. Pause it and then once you're ready to See if you did it the same way I did, then go ahead and hit play. So I'm going to think, I really like the number line, so I'm going to draw the number line, and we can try to do it this way as well. The number line is a good way of showing what I'm doing in my head. 29 plus 10 is 39. Okay, can I do another jump of 10? No, that would take us to 49. 49 is too high. We're just going to 46. Okay, so 29, 39 plus 1 is going to take me to 40. I like those uh, numbers that end, end with 0. 39 plus 1 equals 40. And 40 plus what takes us to 46? 6. 40 plus 6 equals 46. So all together I added 10, 11, plus 6 more is 17. Or 10 plus 1 plus 6 is 17. So the question mark is 17. If you didn't get it, we're going to keep practicing. So here we're going to use the bar model to show what the problem is, and then we'll check our work. Bruce buys 18 eggs a dozen and a half. He uses 10 of them for baking. Then he buys 36 more eggs. How many eggs does Bruce have now? All right, so they're showing us that he started out with 18 eggs. 10 of them turned into baking, which is cookies and cakes. I'm going to draw a little cookie on there. Chocolate chip, yummy. So how many were left? Eight. Kind of like 18 minus 10 equals 8. Then he bought 36 eggs. So 8 and 36 together makes how many? 8 plus 36 because he's getting more. He could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then three tens, one, two, three, six ones. Okay, this is eight plus 36. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
that's a group of 10. We're going to regroup that 10 over here into a 10. 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. 44 eggs. Now, in my opinion, the hardest part of this problem is understanding what the story is telling you. That he starts out with 18 eggs and he uses them. Using them is subtraction. Then he buys 36 more eggs. More usually means we're adding something. We're putting something else in our um, group. How many does he have now? So we have to understand that exactly what's going on. We have to really work on visualizing the math. All right, let's see what we're going to practice independently. We're going to use bar diagrams and mental math to solve each problem. If this is not clicking for you and you have a better way, just do it over here. Let me see it. And we can keep talking about this. All right, number two. Ella has 34 more buttons than Julio. Julio has 49 buttons. How many buttons does Ella have? So here we've got two bars because we have two people. The one who has more is Ella. So her bar is big and it's not broken. We can see that for sure because we can say Ella has more buttons than Julio. All right, so this one's Julio's. Do we know how many buttons Ella has? No. Julio has 49 buttons. Ella has 34 more. So if we add 34 to Julio's, that would make what Ella has. So now, how are you going to figure out how many Ella's got? All right. I think you can do it from there. Number three, 20 students are on the bus. Then 10 students get off the bus. Next, 15 students get on the bus. How many students are on the bus now? So 20 students are on the bus. That's what you're starting with. Then 10 students get off the bus. Are we adding those students or are we subtracting them? We're subtracting them because they're leaving the bus. Next, 15 students get on the bus. So now the bus is getting more. So we're going to add those 15 students. Now how many are on the bus? Okay. All right, number four. Wendy has 14 more crayons than Oscar. So this is these are going to be Wendy and Oscar's bars. And it says Wendy has more than Oscar. So Wendy is going to have the one that's longer and doesn't have a break in it. Wendy and Oscar. Oscar has 30, has, excuse me, Oscar has 54 crayons. How many does Wendy have? Well, she's got 14 more than Oscar. So how much is that together? All right, I will read these to you um, and you can pause them and work them or come back and watch it when you need to get, when you're ready to get to these. Number five. Mariah has 17 figs. Kendra has 20 more figs than Mariah. Toby has 33 more figs than Kendra. How many figs did Kendra and Toby each have? Now, if you're like me, that did not make a lot of sense the first time, but I know we have different people and we're talking about how many figs they have. Mariah has 17 figs. Kendra has 20 more figs than Mariah. More means we're going to add them together. So Kendra has 20 more than Mariah. If Mariah has 17. That should help you figure out how many Kendra has. Toby has 33 more than Kendra. So you've got to figure out Kendra before you can figure out Toby. So you have to figure out how, much, how many they each have. Number six, eight girls and some boys are in a pool. In all, 17 children are in the pool. Then some more boys jump in the pool. Now there are 13 boys in the pool. How many, boy, how many more boys jumped in the pool? Remember that sum is a number. It's a number that we just don't know yet. So 
We're starting with eight girls and some boys are in the pool, but we know that there's 17 children. So step one, you're gonna have to figure out how many boys this is, how many boys were in the pool to start out with. Then some more boys jump in the pool to make 13. So you're gonna take however many boys were at the beginning and then put some more boys in the pool and it's gonna equal 13. Whatever this number is, is gonna be your answer. Number seven, the soccer coach has 18, excuse me, the soccer coach has 18 shirts. She gives nine of the shirts to some of her players. Then she gets 11 more shirts. How many shirts does the coach have left? So show how you can solve it in two steps, just like you did here. And then tell what your answer is. All right, guys, I'm gonna make a video to walk through the answers to these. So work through this, and then if you want some help, go ahead and watch that video also. Um, best of luck, and I can't wait to uh, help you if you need any help or see what your successes were. Um, see you later. Bye.